Several people in downtown Mobile watched as this standoff went on, including folks in a local coffee shop. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones is live in downtown Mobile. And Jeremy, you spoke with witnesses at Knuckle Bones who saw everything. Yes, Roseanne and Devin, I spoke with witnesses here at Knucklebones who say they've never seen anything like this before. And here on the ground, you can still see shattered glass from yesterday's standoff. Witnesses at Knucklebones told News 5 they were beginning their day at work when everything unfolded. Originally, um, just putting up decorations together. And I looked out the window and I saw a man and a woman, I think, looking into the car. And I thought originally they had just gotten a wreck or something. One police officer came to the scene and didn't really think much about it, just carried on about our day. A customer came in a couple minutes later and she was about to walk out with her drink and she was like, oh my goodness, we need to get to the back right now. Um, there's a gun out there. Another worker at the shop, Leah Percival, pointed out exactly what happened as she and others in the store viewed the situation through the windows. When it all unfolded, it was happening right here in this parking spot. And I guess whenever the big truck was running into it, and I can't remember if it hit our pole or the pole next to it, but I remember watching it through our video cameras and we were like, oh my gosh, our balcony. <laughs> Both workers shared this video showing law enforcement with weapons drawn towards the gray car. Percival says it's sad Terrence Duncan took his own life. Felt so like connected to the story and we were both just expressing how we came in today feeling a deep sense of grief even though we didn't know him. But I feel like the whole community has been kind of grieving today. Both workers here at Knuckle Bones say that it was a very scary situation and they hope that something like this never happens again. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.